I know, it bothers me too. Uh, it's huh. cute, look at your beautiful lips. It'll be interesting to test this face out on Japanese children and what a perfect day for that because we are on our way to Fuji Kindergarten, yeah. the most famous and best kindergarten oh, in the, the world. Boxes. They're the little buses for picking them up and dropping them off. I know we said that there was supposed to be like a week of sunshine after that typhoon, but apparently the only exception is when another typhoon is on the way. <laughs> there is a pantsless kid inside the kindergarten. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. Is that what makes it the best kindergarten in the world? So we're here with Matt, um, English teacher at this Montessori-ish type of school. We're in a kids, a children's paradise here, um, just kind of walking around the ring. So as we said before we came in, this place is famous for being designed in a way that every kindergarten should be designed. Ichiban kindergarten des. And I'm just trying to navigate around as I give you guys a 360 shot. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> and now we'll just quickly, bravely walk into the rain. So here we are. The greatest kindergarten in the world. We're here. <laughs> and the principal who we met, met inside is the nicest guy. Yeah. Super nice with a sweater on and everything. Made fun of me immediately for wearing my uh, sweater wrong because my buttons were unadjusted. <laughs> How did I not notice that? Well, he's used to pointing out little things like that because he teaches kindergarten. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, just climbing this precarious, slippery ladder up into the treehouse right now. This is what makes the school super famous is the, it's built around Trees, there's the big ring back there. <laughs> All right, now we're on the roof and I'm not even gonna attempt to deal with this rain on the lens. We're just doing a walkabout on the big ring here. Matt's showing us around the school. We are definitely coming back when it's not as crap. And this alone, if you were to make an advertisement for the school just to sell the kids, there's a slide that goes off the roof. That's all you need to, you, doesn't need to, you don't have to worry about the programs, you don't have to talk about how they grow their own vegetables, bring them home and eat them, have that sense of accomplishment. You don't have to talk about how they have independence or like English immersion that gives them a leg up on life beyond, or they have great teachers like Matt. All that matters is that there's a slide that gets you down off the roof. Pretty good English. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> really? Yeah. Carter, say something it. funny. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> they're still kids. Yeah. Even if they're stoic Japanese kids, <laughs> sometimes the kid comes out. Are you or your cat? We're in Matt's classroom now, which is uh, nicer than my house. <laughs> they got Kotatsu in the middle, heated table for the winter. All right, um, bye bye. <laughs> Fuji Kindergarten back there, and it lives up to its reputation. Oh my god, it was more amazing than what I thought it was gonna be. 
That was and incredible. I it was going to be freaking amazing. I can't believe they had ponies. They have ponies. <laughs> I don't have anything. He's biting out. <laughs> I shouldn't have given my finger when I didn't have anything. Oh, it's so soft. An iguana is and a turtle. And they have a duck. Matt seemed a little bit disappointed that we saw them <laughs> when we went and got the bird's eye view of the school because we saw them. Becky's like, what is that? I'm just gonna show you that in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we got spoiled. There's ponies down there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and like saw some like furry bodies moving down there. I was like, probably a bear. <laughs> and so these kids make their own vegetables and they like they grow them stuff. In the and and then they pull them out of the ground, they wash them, and then the parents take it home and they make like sweet potatoes or you know, rice. I like the little schedule that they had at the end there with paper cup day. <laughs> what um, is paper cup day in general though? I don't know. <laughs> they also had girls versus boys day. That wouldn't fly in North America anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> No. I liked the Thumb Wars Day or Hot Dog Wars, however you want to see it. Mm, hot Dog Wars. They had Diffuse a Candy Bomb Day. Uh huh. And one of my favorites was uh, Be Confused About Sea Life Day. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> we really want to go back, especially yes. when it's sunny. Uh, so we're going to go back sometime when we're living here and yeah. we'll just pop in and just get, like, you know, some better footage of the kids not being cooped up inside the ring. Yeah the little circular jail that they've been built. <laughs> 